The goal of this problem is to verify that the product of the derivatives is not the same as the derivative of the product. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to simplify this a little bit. It takes a little bit of work. But it's not too challenging. So we're going to just take each term in the first set of parentheses, multiply by each term in the second set, then we'll simplify from there. So x cubed times x cubed x to the sixth, x cubed times negative 2x minus 2x to the fourth, x cubed times 3. It's 3x cubed. Next, 2x times x cubed is 2x to the fourth, 2x times negative 2x negative 4x squared, three, uh, 2x times 3, 6x. And finally, you take the 3 and multiply that by every term. 3 times x cubed is 3x cubed. 3 times negative 2x is negative 6x. Finally, 3 times 3 is simply 9. So this is a massive function, but we should be able to simplify it pretty easily. So we have x to the 6th in front. Find all of our terms that have x to the 4th, this and this. Those cancel each other out, so we don't have to worry about them. Next, we're looking at terms that have x to the third power. Got this guy, this guy over here. So I'll add that in. 6x cubed. Next we're looking for x squared. The only one is this. So we have negative 4x squared. Next we're looking for x to the first these, which cancel each other out. And finally, we have plus 9 at the end. So this is a much more manageable problem to try to find the first derivative. So f prime of x, we t first take the derivative of x to the sixth, which is simply 6x to the fifth. Take the derivative of 6x to the third, which is 18x squared. Taking the derivative of negative 4x squared, which is going to be negative 8x. And the derivative of a constant is 0, so we leave that off. So our first important result is that the derivative of the products is 6x to the fifth, plus 18x squared minus 8x. So now what we need to do is find the derivative of each of these and multiply them together and see what that gets us. So we'll call the first chunk g of x. All right. So now we'll take the first derivative of g of x. Derivative of the first term is 3x squared. The derivative of the second term is 2. That's that. So now we'll call this second chunk h of x. Which is very similar to the first chunk, but we'll take the derivative of it anyway. The derivative of h of x, 3x squared minus 2. Okay. So now, in order to verify that the derivative of the product is not equal to the product of the derivatives, we're going to multiply these two together 
and see if it equals this. I suspect it won't. So g prime of x times h prime of x is equal to 3x squared plus 2 times 3x squared minus 2. 3x squared times 3x squared gets us 9x to the fourth. 3x squared minus, times minus 2 gets us negative 6x squared. 2 times 3x squared gets us plus 6x squared. And 2 times negative 2 gets us minus 4. These two terms cancel each other out. So what we're left with is 9x to the fourth minus 4, which as you can see is completely different from f prime of x 